wondered why things float in fluids and other things sink, like the ship and the coin, respectively. Fluids are substances that can flow and alter its shape, like the liquids and gases, but not solids. These states of matter, including plasma and Bose-Einstein condensates, exhibit differences in the densities of the particles. Wait, did I just mention density? Imagine two pennies with the same size and shape, but each made up of different material, plastic and metal, being dropped into the water. The plastic coin floats, the metal coin sinks. Particles in plastic materials are lesser in amount and are not that close enough, giving much space for them to move about and slide past each other. Particles in solid materials, like the metal coin, are greater in amount, tightly packed, and are staying right next to each other. We can conclude from this experiment that the metal penny is denser than the plastic penny. The lesser the space between the particles, the denser the object becomes. Challenging the idea of the metal penny that sinks and the plastic penny that floats, the phrase heavier objects should sink while smaller objects should stay afloat is quite logical. Evidently, this claim does not remain true at all circumstances. Consider a ship and a coin that are both made up of the same materials, metals. When these two objects are plunged into the water, displacement in fluid happens. The ship displaces an amount of water equal to the volume of the immersed part of the body, and a coin displaces an amount of water equal to its volume. These claims can be supported by Archimedes' principle, which states that any object partially or fully immersed in a fluid is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by an object. This law allows the buoyancy or the tendency of an object to float in a fluid like the water and air of an object partially or fully immersed into a fluid to be calculated. If four objects are being submerged into the water at different levels, these objects are experiencing a downward force because of their weights and an upward force, that is, the buoyant force. The difference of the magnitudes of the buoyant force and the weight is the net force experienced by the object. If the net force is positive, the object rises just as illustrated by objects A and B. If negative, the object sinks just like D. And if zero, the object is neutrally buoyant, just like C. That is, it remains in place without either rising or sinking. For the case of the coin and the ship, the coin weighs more than the water it displaces, so it sinks. Ships, on the other hand, were designed to have a lot of compartments for air to fill in. Thus, it weighs less than the water it displaces, so it floats. Science is everywhere. Don't be afraid to ask questions that will help you in setting things in motion. Like why and how. Stay curious and peace out.